Welcome to Guns and Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in. Today we're going to take a look at the Right in the Rain All-Weather Dope Notebook for your shooting data. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, appreciate you tuning in. So today we're going to take a look at this right in the rain all weather dope notebook. Uh, dope being meaning uh, data on previous engagements. It's for people that shoot mostly long range uh, to go in and record things, uh, your data as they call it. So for your load workups, your distance, your weather, all these things. Uh, this is a pretty simplistic notebook. Uh, they're $12. They'll be in my Amazon store. Right in the Rain has a great reputation for making some great products. I've used their products for years, and they make one specifically for, um, you know, uh, data uh, for your shooting and I'll show you that here in a minute uh, one thing about this is that it's waterproof and we'll show you that also but I'm going to give you a little bonus at the end of the video that's free that has a ton of stuff that if you are into long-range shooting or wanting to get into it that will help you immensely spoiler alert for future videos um, I have this uh, farm in the back that uh, little spoiler alert what's going to be going forward with a few videos so just stay tuned for those uh, we'll be discussing a lot of things about this new rifle build I'm doing so let's take a look at the notebook it has an all-weather uh, like a plastic type uh, cover front and back it's got on the outside it's got little things here that'll help you uh, this is in centimeters this is in inches so it has a ruler already built in if you open it up on the inside calculating wind effect uh, it has that it also has MOA uh, to meters and mil to meters uh, measurements around it so it's got a place for your name address phone uh, rifle rifle specs uh, data of a first entry so if you want to build one book for one particular rifle one particular load or something like that uh, you can buy you one book for twelve dollars and just build on that so flip the page and it has a round count section. So this right here tells you the date that you started, how many rounds you shot, uh, totals, and all that. So you can keep up with your barrel life of your rifle, which is also kind of neat. Uh, you want to kind of keep up with that, kind of understanding how um, how long your barrel's lasting and things like that. You may need to rebarrel your action or something, uh, what have you. So then you go to the next page, and this is where the actual data starts that you're going to enter for your specifics. So it has location, load, date, rounds, temperature, humidity, altitude, pressure, wind, density, distance, elevation, and windage. Then it has another one, distance, elevation, and windage, and it repeats itself just like that. So if you want to start out at 100, 100 yards, you can mark that as zero. As your, you know, if you've zeroed your rifle at 100 yards, that's what you want to start with, and then you can build it from there and keep going. And you can do this in, you can do it in 25 yard increments, 50 yard increments, or whatever, and keep building on it. On the back of each page, is an actual notebook to write notes or anything like that. So there is a total. Let me uh, let me look at something real quick, guys. Uh, sorry, my phone cut off where I was looking. So there's 104 pages or 52 sheets, counting front and back. Uh, this measures four inches by six inches, so it's not one of those little small ones. So it gives you a little more um, ability to. Um, see things a little easier uh, if you follow my channel I recently did a video about this this actually fits in this just perfect I'll show you this how I'm gonna do mine you can just slide it in this is one of the uh, armbands that you wear to keep your data close at hand you can stick it in the middle like this and it folds up right in there just like that so that's perfect for that fits in there great so I've done videos years ago, uh, back long ago, 
about writing the rain notebooks, just general notebooks, and I did a little demo, and we're gonna do one today real quick. So I've had this sheet of paper out of here soaking for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, and I'm going to shake it off a little bit, and then I'm going to just dry it with a paper towel. So a couple things I wanna demonstrate with this. is let's try tearing it. See, it doesn't really tear real easy, so it's a little hard. It tears, but not like, like regular paper would have disintegrated by now. This one's a lot tougher than that. Also, if you wanna still write, this right here is one of the right in the rain pens. I also will have one of these uh, in the uh, store, in the Amazon store. So let's put location, uh, I don't know, let's just put um, USA, range then we're going to put the date I don't know let's do 9 21 21 uh, load let's do the 308 uh, Sierra match King um, 168 grain rounds uh, depends on what you're going to shoot here temperature let's just call it 85 degrees humidity uh, altitude, we'll just leave some of that blank. Uh, distance, 100 yards. Now, what I would do if you're going to do it, make sure you write yards out there. So, just as a reminder, it's not you know meters or anything like that. And uh, then you can uh, elevation, windage, distance, and you can start writing in your notes in this little box here. But you see how it writes. You can also use this is one of the sharpies if you wanted to use that. That writes on there just fine no issues, make yourself some notes. Like I said, that's been soaking for, I don't know, five minutes or so in that. So really good uh, product uh, for durability. So this would last you, once you did your notebooks, you can keep them um, and it would last you forever. So that's uh, that. So let's take a look at the free bonus I'm gonna tell you about. I'm gonna have a link in the section below. It's a PDF file. Um, it's like a link, right? And this right here has all kinds, I mean, probably at least a hundred or more uh, where I think they somebody took apart like a data book of some sort, maybe one of the major brands. I don't know really which one, but there's tons of this stuff in there. And so like this, they have this in there. This right here is, I just made these on a little kind of a heavier, thick paper and printed them out and then cut them uh, out to shape. These come on, a, you had to print them on a full sheet of paper. And on this particular one, there was two like this on that sheet of paper. And this right here is similar to this, but this right here actually has it where you start out at 100, 200, 300, all the way out to 1,000. Then you can do your uh, come-ups, what you're gonna do, how many clicks, elevations, things like that. Uh, then it goes into 150, 250, 350. So it depends on what you're doing. And the way you would do it is 100 here, 150 here, 200 here, 250 here. Now you may only do uh, increments in 100 and not the 50, so the, all yours would just be in this line. If you want to do 100 and then 152, 253, 350, all the way out to 1,050 yards. And again, it's got bullet, velocity, altitude, notes, uh, temperature range, all that. So you can write your come up from a zero. So if you, that means you're, whatever your zero is, you're going to come up, you know, three mils or four mils or 10 mils or whatever it is. And then you can start filling these in. I just printed a bunch of these off like that these are in that uh free pdf i'm going to link i'm going to send you uh they have things like this this is a mil to inch chart so at 100 yards 0.1 mil is 0 0.36 all the way out and it just keeps going like that also i did this now this did not come in the and this is another spoiler alert of something that i'm going to show you uh later in a video and uh, it's a sort of spoiler alert for only people that would know this is if they recognize this reticle. So I always print off a picture of my reticle and they're always like, usually on the internet, depends on what brand. And that way I can look at the reticle and study it as I need. So let's say for instance, I fired a shot and I thought I was on the correct dope and the bullet splashed right here in my scope. 
I know I can look at this sheet here and kind of get an idea a little better. Once you learn your scope, you won't need this as bad, but I always like a quick reference that's kind of blown up. It also tells you the subtensions of where everything, how it measures out on your scope. So these are handy to have. This is going to be invaluable to these guys, to you guys. I had to dig around to find it, kind of found it by accident, to be honest with you, doing some searching. There was a ton of stuff in this PDF file, um, this link. So if you guys are into long range shooting, you can definitely find something in there for you that you would need if it's just a couple of things, maybe some of these or whatever. But uh, anyway, guys, right in the rain notebook. If you're going to get into long range shooting, I suggest you kind of, you know, prioritize your budget. That's they can get really expensive. Something like a twelve dollar notebook the free uh pdf stuff go over there print you off some cards you don't have to buy the hundred dollar kit for you know the dope book or whatever that their latest thing they're selling so just kind of piecemeal some things together get you in the game get you a decent little budget rifle we'll talk about rifles a little later in another video but anyway check out the amazon store it doesn't cost you any more uh to shop there it just helps us out with the channel and as always guys if you got any suggestions questions be sure to put that in the comments below got something that you like using or a method be sure to share that also and as always like share subscribe bring another video shortly have a great day